everyone, welcome back. It's Farley and Heather again from Rec Services. Uh, we wanted to bring you a different pace workout today. So this is an abs and glutes and arms workout that you can do at home. You do need one piece of equipment, but all you really need is a bed, uh, a stool that doesn't fall over, a chair, an ottoman, a couch, anything like that. So we're gonna work through six different movements today, starting with a heels elevated hip lift. So place your heels firmly onto the object and lift your hips up into the air. Good, come back down one more time up. Good, then transition your bottom onto the implement, hands either beside you or rotated outwards. Uh, if you've got shoulder problems, bring your hands further out, dropping your bum down, straightening your arms. So the key here is the arm straightening, it's not a hip lift. Excellent, then bringing your bum to the edge of the chair for abdominal exercise. So either legs in and out, one leg at a time, or touching the ground to make it a little bit easier. Good, so our second set on hands and knees. Donkey kick, we'll just keep going through it. Donkey kick alternating, so heel towards the ceiling. Good, belly is in, hip bones point down to the ground. Good, next exercise, hands come right side by side each other and dropping down into a tricep push up. Good, recommending doing this from the knees for most of us. Uh, lastly, a Russian twist, so seated on your bum with your heels on the floor or slightly raised, twisting to each side. So alternatively, if you don't like twisting, you can reach across the body. Good, that would be the twist. Three, two, one. All right, guys, so we just had a little blip there, but that's okay, so goes life sometimes, as you all remember from classes. Music stopping or, I don't know, interruptions, mic stopping. Here you go, you wanna push your heels down, lift up, squeeze your glutes to hold the top and come back down. Inhaling and exhaling as you go. We're on the clock here for 40 seconds. I'm gonna 20 second transition right now. So rolling over, making your way up, putting your bottom onto the edge of your couch, your bed, your chair, and either pointing your hands forward or slightly out to the side. Out to the side, it's gonna be a little gentler on your shoulders. <clears throat> Keeping your knees somewhat bent, drop down as low as you're comfortable going, coming up and tightening through the backside of the arms. Inhale down, exhale up. Avoiding your chest caving in or rounding forward, staying broad through the collarbones. Now I know a lot of people like to lengthen their legs out, but your deciding factor will be if your chest caves forward when you have your legs extended. So if you cannot maintain an open chest, keep your legs bent. This is the longest 40 seconds. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so now we are on the front edge of our chair and we're going to be doing some V-sit style crunches. If your chair is like ours, it's a little slippery, so we might lose our form just a little bit. So rising up and legs can go in and out, or you can also individual legs. Pick your poison. Lots of breathing here. I know a lot of you are cursing us right now. That's okay. I'm cursing Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know I always tell you that I make sure to do an exercise that I hate? Well, this is one of them. But I love the music. Woo! Awesome work. Now you can also take that one to the floor. You do not have to do it on the chair, I tell you after the fact, of course, but on your next round. So here, line up your wrist crease underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Alternating side to side, keeping your belly pulled in. Here we go. So heel pumps up towards the ceiling, replace on the other side. If you happen to have one of those loop bands at home, also called a booty band. Go ahead and put it around your legs just above the knees.
keeping your spine straight as you can, head in line with the body, and then pulling your belly button in ever so slightly. Nice work, team. So just sitting back on your knees if you can, working into a tricep push-up. So either having your hands as close together as you can, or even trying to form that diamond shape. I recommend doing this from the knees, stacking your weight over top of your hands and wrist crease. You need to take a little break, stop at the bottom, pause before pushing back up. Now you can also do this in a little box shape. So dropping your forehead down towards your fingertips. Just keeping your elbows tucked underneath you the best you can. Bottom is squeezed tight. Lots of breathing. Inhale down, exhale up. Your chaturangas are going to be amazing after this. <laughs> Fabulous work. So moving into our last exercise in the series, a Russian twist. All right. So some folks like to have their feet off the ground. I'm going to keep mine down. Just bothers my hip flexors quite a bit to have them up. So hands to make them a bit harder, reaching out. And then we're going to rotate. To make it a little easier. Or if you have a hard time with rotation, you know, watch fair there as you're reaching across. Getting some oblique work happening here. So side body. Want to make this a little harder? Grab a textbook between your hands. Nice work, team. So your choice, keep going through that two or three times or leave it there and maybe go do a Tabata or a hit. Thanks for joining us. Here, high five and a foot. <laughs>